let's shift beer, gears back to today's uh, Sun Times. Mm -hmm. We say in today's Sun Times, Senator, that your campaign makes a false claim about Ms. Harold's stand on gay adoption. Um, the ads uh, that we're talking about say that she would discriminate against a loving gay couple who want to adopt a child, favoring an abusive straight couple instead. Uh, the ad says she supports a constitutional ban on same-sex marriage and would even allow employers to fire workers just for being uh, gay. Ms. Harold has said that at one time she wouldn't have supported uh, same-sex couples adopting, but that she would strongly support it today. Uh, your campaign says her evolution is incredible. How can you say that? Well, you know, the, so the, the notion that what she said when she was 19 that she could evolve from that, I support that notion. But when, does the, when did the evolution take place? It certainly didn't take place in 2014 when she explicitly said that she was against uh, marriage equality. It didn't, certainly didn't take place in 2014 when she was running uh, for Congress when, when she said uh, in, in a Illinois Family Institute uh, questionnaire that she would support the discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation. Uh, the credibility comes into question. Yeah, if, 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 if it's just referring to when she was 19, but the very last time Ms. Harrell was running for office, she took these positions. Now, what she has said today is because the Supreme Court has ruled on marriage uh, equality um, that her position has changed. It's very important to listen to the specificity of what she says. Right now, there's a Supreme Court justice that is uh, being considered uh, to replace the pivotal voice in the marriage, marriage equality case. Um, so what the Supreme Court's stance on marriage equality could change after Brett Kavanaugh, if Brett Kavanaugh is confirmed. So if her change in position is based on the Supreme Court's decision, not on her own conviction, not on her own personal views, which she has historically said does not matter. Um, I feel uncomfortable with that. I think it's important to focus on words because words matter. The central premise of your campaign, of three ads that you've run, is that I currently have certain positions about same-sex adoption. You're sitting today saying that you actually don't believe that those are my current views. So if you don't, so do you believe that that's my current view right now? I, I absolutely do because- So the, you actually believe that that is what I currently believe, based yes, on what you, evidence? You're asking me a question, let me answer. Yes, based on what evidence? Like I just said, you know, one of the fundamental things about- Evidence. Let me reply, if, 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 you, want, if you want to speak over me, I'll, I'll allow you to finish. If you, if you ask me a question, I'll, I'll, I'll patiently wait for you to finish asking me the question. I want yeah. to hear evidence, so please I'm a, present I'm a, it. I'm about to present it. I just did present it. Okay. One, one of the fundamental things, when you think about um, raising children, like one of the uh, 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 structures that people rely on to uh, raise children is marriage, right? There's the value of raising children when, when, when married. If you're saying that the only reason why you support marriage equality is because of the Supreme Court's decision. And the Supreme Court's posture on this can change with the pending appointment, uh, appointment that's pending right now. It's not about your, your personal let me, view. Let me, let me phrase this question. Though. No, I want him to answer his question about the claim that he's been making that was rated false, yeah, I completely I false. Think, and I think his answer was that he believes that your position now has less to do with personal conviction, more on what you think the legal reality is. If the no. Legal, so let me ask you, if the legal reality were No, change, I want to focus on the same-sex adoption. The same-sex adoption because yeah. I, when I have actually said what my rationale is mm -hmm. for my position on same-sex adoption, I said that I support same-sex couples being able to adopt and be able to be foster parents because I believe they provide loving homes and because I believe no child should be in an abusive environment. So I referenced nothing about the Constitution as it relates to Thank the you. issue of same-sex adoption and same-sex couples being able to be foster parents. That's the premise of his first ad. That's the premise of his second ad. And I want him to account 
for why that's on the air still when it has been rated as false. I stated what my position was in March. I just stated what my position is in April. I have continued to state it. And at no point in 2014 did I ever say anything contrary to that. So again, where is your evidence for saying that I do not support same-sex couples being able to adopt or be foster parents? The family structure that most same-sex couples would adopt in is marriage. If you're not support in support of marriage, but for a Supreme Court's opinion, I don't believe that that your position well, is true. I, I, I would, I would be, I would be Erica, in support of people know, being able to simple, single people if the being Supreme able Court to change the law on same-sex marriage, and same-sex marriage is no longer the law of the land. Would that change anything with your respect, your views on same-sex couples adopting children? Of course not. And I want to hear some evidence still. You have an ad on the air that's defamatory, and you, I still have heard you say nothing about your evidentiary basis for the premise of your ad. When your comms person was asked about it, as quoted in the Sun-Times, there was no evidence. I've never said anything linking marriage to being able to, for couples to being able to adopt. Okay. Single people are able well, to be foster parents. You don't have any basis for what you're saying, so you have no basis well, for having those ads on the air. Me, and we, okay, it's a, it's yeah. okay for us to disagree, but you first said, um, I don't recall making the statement. Then you said, well, if I did make the statement, I evolved from there. Your credibility has to be questioned. If I made a statement like that, I would recall whether or not I made such a statement. 